What is going on YouTube? Joe here with Color Nation Media bringing you another episode of Pokemon X and Y Battle Spot Live. This is episode number 78 and if you're watching this, if you're watching this right now with me, I'm finally back uh, on YouTube. I know it's been quite a few days uh, since I've uploaded anything. In fact, we went Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday all without any videos and I'm very upset about that but unfortunately uh, for those of you that followed me on social media, be it Twitter or Facebook or whatever, you guys know that uh, my internet was shut off. And it's unfortunate because the provider that I had before uh, got bought out by somebody else. They're not providing service anymore, so I had to get a new service with pretty much no notice, which is unfortunate, and that's why I was not able to upload anything for quite a few days. Uh, but I'm working hard right now to make sure that I have a lot of stuff uh, coming your way in the next couple of days. We're starting a new series on the channel that'll be going up later today So it's not Pokemon related. So if you guys don't like Pokemon or if you don't like things that are not Pokemon Feel free to just not watch that But if you want to watch me play some other cool games from my childhood and a lot of uh, you guys' childhood as well Feel free to check that out. So that is cool. I want to apologize for not uh, uploading anything for a while I mean, I, I just really don't know what else to say uh, other than I apologize, but I do appreciate uh, the fact that you guys didn't give me a hard time and I only got a few comments that were like, where are you? So that is cool. So we're getting back into the swing of things today. We're getting uh, back to the daily uploads and all that stuff. This is the second time I'm trying to record this video as well because the last time I recorded it, it was like 35 minutes long. We did a bonus battle and everything and I got three wins and the audio was messed up. So I have to re-record this whole thing. And I'm a little bit upset about it because I lost all that time, uh, which I could have spent, you know, recording another video for you guys. But uh, here we are. We're sticking with the same team that we had since before my internet went off. And uh, this is the last time I'm going to be using this team. In fact, uh, after this video, we're going to be scrapping it pretty much completely, and I'll just bring a whole new team. I also need to record a lot of Inverse today because we're running out of days to be able to record that. I think that the season for Inverse actually ends in like two or three days, so I really need to get on that. We're just gonna hit the challenge button. If you have not done so already, feel free to show some support to the channel and the series uh, by clicking that thumbs up button right below this video. I forgot to mention that at the beginning. I'm just completely off my game. If my plays are rusty, I'm so sorry. I really am. My commentating is rusty, I'm so sorry. Again, just trying to get back into the swing of things. Uh, we're up against, geez, uh, some serious power right here. Zapdos, Azumarill, Venusaur, it's probably going to be Mega, Talonflame, Hydreigon, and Aegislash. And I actually just heard yesterday, or was it today? I don't even know. I got my days mixed up now. Without internet, I just, I don't even know what day it is, and that's how, that's how sad my life is. Um, but they're actually, Smogon, they, is what I'm referring to here. Uh, they're suspect testing Aegislash in OU, and I don't know why exactly. It's not in any sense of the word broken. It is an over-centralized part of the metagame, um, and what I mean by that is that, kind of like how it is here on Battlespot, you just see it on every single team. And if you really want to play that game, I mean, a lot of Smogon OU players just bring the same stuff all the time. Every battle that you, you know, go into, it's pretty much the same stuff. So you could just make that same argument about anything else. Uh, especially uh, Talonflame is another one. Rotom Wash is one where it's just the usage is just ridiculous. So I don't know if I necessarily agree with that. I feel like Smogon's getting a little bit do too uh, ban happy in my opinion. And I normally like their rules and like their bans. I agree with a lot of the stuff, but some of the recent stuff like the Baton Pass thing, I limit to only one Pokemon per team. It's just it's getting a little bit silly. I really need to pick my Pokemon here. Oh my goodness, I really need to pick my Pokemon. Let's start off with Electros. We're going to bring the Diggersby. And I don't see Yanmega doing much, so I think the Weavile might actually be a better choice here now that I'm looking at it. No, actually the Gigalith, because I'm afraid of that Talonflame. And even though I made my picks with like 15 seconds remaining, our opponent actually uh, took longer, so that actually worked out actually worked out for us. I'm hoping that the video slash audio does not get messed up in this recording because that would be really sad and I'm probably just gonna cry repeatedly and it'll be a bad time. It'll be a bad time. It will be a bad time. I don't know why I said it like that. Alright, Hydreigon starting things off. We've got our Electros out here. We cannot touch this thing. We've got Electric, Fire, 
grass coverage, and Hydreigon can resist all of those things. Ah, all right. At least we can get some some switch initiative here with a volt switch because it will be a slow volt switch, and we can go out into. I guess we're gonna have to go out into Diggersby. And unfortunately, I'm not carrying the return, which I should be, but this Diggersby was a gift and I don't have the happiness up on it, so return really wouldn't do a whole lot. Actually, we could just go out and U-turn because it will be super effective and I don't know that Hydreigon can live that. So that has a possibility. So are we really going to Volt Turn on Battle Spot at 3v3? We're Volt Turning? That is our main strategy? I guess it is. We're going for the Volt Switch. Actually, oh, he's going to withdraw, so we're going to get some momentum here. All right, what is he going to go into? He went to the Venusaur, so I could have went for the Flamethrower. There's no way I was going to predict that, though. No way I was going to predict Venusaur to come out. Now, I don't know if EQ will kill. If I go out into... Hmm. If I go out into Diggersby, I don't know that EQ will kill. I can go out into Gigalith and explode on something, though. But there is that Aegislash. So, is exploding with Aegislash around really a good idea? I don't know that it is. I really don't know if it is. Why would he go out into the Venusaur? If you have a Hydreigon out there, why would you switch out? Hmm. Unless he has nothing to touch me, but he probably has a Dragon-type move. I mean, I'm neutral to his stabs. I guess he's predicting me to be a Salt Fest, which is not a bad play. So he, he might want to get some, some prior damage off with, like, Leech Seed and stuff. I'm going to go into Gigalith. I want to explode on something. I'm not confident that an EQ will kill, and I don't want to waste Diggersby. Because I don't, still don't know what his other Pokemon is. If it's Talonflame, then we just are going to flat out lose this match. Because Talonflame will kill everything on my team except for Electros, I guess. I mean, a Flare Blitz is still going to hurt and it outspeeds. So, there's that. Now, this is a really risky play to just go for an Explosion here. With that Aegislash around. And part of me wants to just go for an EQ. Predicting that that's going to come in. But there's, we haven't seen the Aegislash, he just may not have brought it, and he may not be expecting, he may not be expecting a normal gem explosion, but that's what I'm going to do. We're going for it! We are going for it, no, he's going to Mega Evolve, so as long as he doesn't go for Sleep Powder, we're in good shape here. Do not go for the Sleep Powder, go for the Lead Seed, or the Giga Drain, or anything that's not Sleep Powder. Alright, Giga Drain, that works for me. Explosion is going to hurt this Mega Venusaur a lot. We're going to hang on with the Sturdy, and he's going to get back up to full HP, which is fine, because he's not going to like taking this explosion. He's not going to like it at all. He is not going to like it at all, and I find it weird that the normal gem activates after the animation, but it, it does, and he survives anyway. Are you kidding me? He survives normal gem explosion. Mega Venusaur is too thick, and I don't like it. I'm upset about it. I am upset about it. Going into Diggersby. Ah, we're going to U-turn out here because if he wants to switch and save this, um, this, whatchamacallit, we just, we want it gone. We want it gone, and that's all there is to it. I don't want to lock myself into, like, EQ because I know he has that Hydreigon, so I want to just avoid locking myself into any move until I see what his other Pokemon is. So we will U-turn out. And I at least get some momentum if he wants to save this Venusaur, which I don't think he will, because my other Pokemon's Electros, he knows that, he's seen it, and there's just no reason to worry about it at this point. No reason to save that Venusaur, and he's probably shaking his head right now, like, what? Normal gem explosion? Are you kidding me? He's going to leave the Venusaur in to go down here to this U-turn, so that is a thing. That is indeed... A thing that is a huge threat out of the way and we have Diggersby and Electros still at full health so that's not bad at all normally uh, Mega Venusaur can take out um, at least one Pokemon or just do a, a significant amount of damage to a few Pokemon so that's great to have it out of the way that is absolutely fantastic to have it out of the way and we'll see what my opponent wants to go into now I'm a little bit a little bit curious I mean I'm guessing he switched out the Hydreigon the first time so, I, I kind of feel like he doesn't want this Hydreigon out on my Electros. I don't know why, though. I don't know why, I just, I can't touch him. Unless he's thinking maybe I have the Drain Punch and I'm a physical set, but he's seen the Volt Switch now. Because Electros can run a physical set with Coil. And those typically carry the Drain Punch, so I could see why he would switch into the Venusaur if that is the case. Because then I would have, like, Thunder Punch, I guess, or Wild Charge as a, you know, stab 
physical move and then drain punch as a coverage move to get my HP back and all of that stuff. So that was not a bad play. Not a bad play. I can see where the thought process was going um, in that case. So we'll see. We'll see what he wants to go into. He's going to go into the Hydreigon knowing full well that I cannot do anything to him. And this puts me in a really poop position because mm, I can take a hit. I can probably take a hit. I mean, I am a Salt Vest, so I can slow Volt Switch out and then bring Diggersby in and U-Turn to kill it. And that has potential. But again, it all comes down to what his last Pokemon is. If it's Aegislash, I might be in a good position. And if it is Talonflame, I think I just lose. Because after I take damage with this Electros, Brave Bird should still kill even if it's a resisted hit. So we may not be able to avoid a loss here, but we're going to try. We're going to go for the Vault Switch. We're going to make this a fight at least. Dark Pulse it is. Please do not get a flinch. That would be absolutely terrible. No, and that, that Dark Pulse really doesn't do that much at all. That doesn't do anywhere near as much as I thought it was going to. Now, if this Hydreigon is Scarf, we're going to be in trouble. Because we did not see a Life Orb. And I really was thinking this thing was going to be Life Orb. Hmm. It could be Specs as well. But I don't think that's Specs damage. I know I'm carrying the Assault Vest. But I don't think that's Specs damage. This thing could be Scarf. And that could be an issue. That could be a huge issue. Also, I did not mention what our record was coming into today's episode. I don't think. I got a little bit carried away at the beginning. Um... We are 92 and 61, so we still have a 31 game difference. We might go down to 30 after this game, but that, that's what we were at coming into this battle. Let's go for the U-turn, see what he wants to do. And we'll see right here if he's Scarf enough. If he outspeeds, obviously he's going to be Scarf, because Diggersby really isn't that fast. He's going to withdraw. I'm really thinking he's locked into that. Huh. All right. He's going to go into the Aegislash. Hmm. At least we're going to be able to get some damage off. Not with this U-turn. Uh, definitely not with this U-turn because it's, I believe, four-time resisted. I'm pretty sure Ghost resists Bug. At least that would... Hmm, that seems right. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. We're going to go into the Electros here, though. And... Yes. All right. So we're just Volt switching all over... Or not Volt switching. Volt turning all over the place. Now, what is this thing going to want to do to me? Part of me wants to just Volt switch again to see if he wants to bring in that Hydreigon again. Huh. But I can't just bring in Diggersby and start EQing things with that Hydreigon around. I would have to go for U-Turn again. I would have no choice. Because locking myself in the EQ with a Levitate Pokemon around is just silliness. Part of me wants to go for a Flamethrower here and try to get some damage on this thing to make sure, for sure, that uh, EQ is going to kill. Hmm. Because if I lose Electro... Let's see. If I lose Electros, I lose. Pretty much because I don't have an attack that can kill both Aegislash and Hydreigon, unfortunately. So we have to try to get damage off on this thing. We're going to go for the Flamethrower, see what it wants to do. It's going to stay in, and we outspeed it, and we do an uh, okay amount of damage. No weakness policy. So I probably should have went for the Thunderbolt there. That would have been the safer play. Flash Cannon is coming our way. That's not going to be very effective. And no, that's not very effective at all. So either a Switch or a King's Shield is coming here because we outspeed and Shadow Sneak I don't think is going to be enough to take us out. Shadow Ball, I don't know. Shadow Ball I think would have done more damage. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know what the thought process there was there unless they predicted me to go for the Volt Switch and outspeed and bring in the Digger Speed. Now that's... That is possible. I mean, I guess, to be fair, you can't just be going for ghost-type moves with uh, an immunity around. So, that kind of makes sense. That kind of makes sense. Now, part of me wants to go for a Volt Switch again here. Hmm. Hmm, because that switch is very possible. The hard switch is possible. The worst that happens is that the King Shield is a thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, let's go for the Volt Switch. He's going to withdraw. All right. Volt Switch was the correct play. All right. I, I haven't lost all of my mojo. I'm, a, I'm doubting myself a little bit here because I just am. I just am. I haven't played in a while, and I'm just... I'm feeling rusty, but I guess I'm not terribly, terribly rusty. Uh, Diggersby. 
coming in here. It's not like I have a choice. This is a long first battle, guys. This is a really long first battle. We're working for this. We are working for this. Now, he pretty much has to switch out unless he's scarfed. He has to. Because from that range, there's no way a U-turn is not going to kill this thing. Because I doubt that it has much HP investment. I highly, highly doubt that. So, let's just go for the U-turn. I see no reason to not go for it here. He does outspeed, but we avoid the Draco Meteor. Are you kidding me? It is scarfed. That's going to be a victory for us now. Because of that miss. That is so lame. That is so lame. I know I, I should be more excited that I'm going to win this battle, but that 90% I mean, accuracy move and you miss it at the most crucial point of the battle. I've been winning a lot lately because of hacks. That's just not cool. Well, not, not winning because of hacks, but like really just helping my case here. This match is going to be uh, pretty much that I just win because of hacks because that Draco Meteor definitely would have taken us out. I don't see Diggers be living that. And... Yeah, that would have been the end of the match, pretty much. Let's go over the flamethrower here. So we're just going to finish this off. He's not going to forfeit because he is a good sport. And flamethrower is not quite enough to take this thing out. There's the stance change. I'm guessing that the shadow ball is coming now. Oh no, he's going to go for the flash cannon again. Maybe he doesn't have the shadow ball. That's also possible. Flash cannon is not enough to take this electros out. Shadow sneak could be a thing right here, but I'm not going to risk it. I'm not going to make any crazy plays or anything. We'll just go for another flamethrower. See, no reason to not go for that. The match is going to be forfeited now, so I, I do not blame this person whatsoever for that forfeit. That was a terrible turn of events for him. Uh, but it is a victory for us, albeit a little bit tainted. But um, I've had battles go the other way, so we have to take the victory. That's just what it is. Sometimes uh, you should lose the battle, but you win because of a miss or whatever, and it's part of the game. And it goes the other way, too. So it's just, I guess, just, that's just how the cookie crumbles. That brings our record to 93 and 61. So a 32-game differential. And we have a chance. We have a chance, ladies and gentlemen, to get up to a 33-game differential. And that would be uh, mind-bogglingly crazy. I really want Chestnut to do something. I really, really do. I've misused it so much. And just, I don't know. I, I don't know, I'm upset with how I've been using it, because off screen, it has been taking names and destroying everything in sight. And then I turned the little recording app on, and just all kinds of bad things happened that... Ah, oh man. I don't know, if you guys have watched the last couple of uh, Battlespot Live episodes, you know what I'm talking about. Like, using just stupid moves like payback on an Aegis Slash that's likely to be weakness policy. And I made the same mistake in the last battle by going for a flamethrower on an Aegis Slash. Albeit I didn't have really that much of a choice other than to just go for maybe like T-Bolt. But I still forget about weakness policy all the time. I just, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Now I'm thinking that Diggersby is honestly going to be a really good choice for this battle again. Diggersby just destroys everything on Battle Spot. It's insane how much damage it can do. Now, I'm thinking that Chestnut could be a possibility. It walls that Absol pretty much um, like crazy. It's going to wall them a while as well. And it's going to take out the Gastrodon. So, yeah, the Chestnut's going to come. So, we're going to start off with the Diggersby. And we can always U turn out and all of that stuff. I love U turn. I don't know why. I just do. I like getting momentum. So we've got Diggersby and Chestnut, and let's take a look at this team and decide on a third member. I kind of want to bring the Yon Mega. It does do a significant amount of damage to the Cresselia. It has a uh, type advantage on the Absol. It's got Giga Drain for the Gastrodon. Should Chestnut go down for uh, some crazy reason? Well, the Chestnut can't really take on them a while with the play rough, I guess. It's going to do a lot of damage. But we can get a decent amount of recoil off on it. So that is the thing. I think we're going to bring the Yon Mega. So we've got Diggersby, uh, Yon Mega, and Chestnut. We will see how that works out. I really don't have much for that, that Thunderous, to be honest. Diggersby's going to have to hit it with the Stone Edge if I really want any hope of taking it out. Because an Electric-type move will take out Yon Mega, and a Flying-type move will take out the Chestnut. So Thunderous always giving me problems. I always have problems with Thunderous. I, I just, it's one of those Pokemon that just always has my number. Togekiss is another one of those Pokemon 
And don't even get me started on Togus because I just can't stand it. I think it's big poop. It is the biggest poop that's ever been a poop in the history of poops. That is all I have to say about that. Now, I really want to just go for an EQ. But the switch is possible. We haven't seen uh, our whole opponent's team, obviously, because the battle just started. So I feel like U-Turn is a safer play. I mean, it's still super effective, and if he switches, then we get the momentum, so there's no reason to go balls to the walls on turn one. That's just a little bit reckless. We're going to see the Mega Evolution here, and that is pretty cool. We're still going to outspeed. I mean, at the very least, we know this thing is not scarfed. Not that anybody runs that. He's going to go for the Detect to scout what we're going to do. Okay, Detect and not Protect. That's interesting. That is interesting. Most people run Protect over Detect because Detect does not have as much PP. I'm not sure why that is, but that's just how the, uh, I don't know, just how it works. Let's go for another U-turn. Obviously, we're locked into it. We may see a switch here. Nope, he's going to stay in and take the U-turn. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. And it's not quite a one-shot. Not quite a one-shot. Hmm. All right, then. Uh, I really don't see much of an option other than to go into the chestnut here. If this thing has play rough, it's going to destroy our lives. Really is going to destroy our lives. Knockoff is going to get rid of our rocky helmet. That might actually just take this thing out altogether. Yep, knockoff comes back to bite you in the rear end. And I love it because everybody and their mother wants to put knockoff on just every single Pokemon. They want every every Pokemon to have knockoff. I don't understand. I mean, I understand that it's a good move. I understand with the buff, you know, it's just fantastic. All these extra effects, but it's just... You want to talk about over-centralized? We need to be talking about knockoff and not Pokemon like Aegislash, which... Just, they're not broken. They're not broken at all. I don't get it. I don't get it. Alright, so we'll see what our opponent wants to go into now going to be the Volcarona, and I don't think I can do anything to this. I've got Hammer Arm, Leech Seed, Synthesis, and Spiky Shield, so I can do a whole lot of nothing. A whole lot of nothing. And if he goes for a Quiver Dance on this turn, we are absolutely screwed. We are beyond screwed, because I can't do anything. If I switch out into the Diggersby, the Quiver Dance can go up, he'll be at plus one speed, and even though I've got a Scarf, and I'm technically at plus one as well, pretty sure Volcarona naturally outspeeds Diggersby, because I, like, I, like I mentioned earlier, Diggersby really doesn't have a lot of natural speed. So, uh, and at plus one special attack, pretty sure a Bug Buzz is just going to just destroy our lives, and there's nothing we can do about it. And we may just have lost here, just by the sheer fact that Volcarona is here. A mindless Quiver Dance Sweep. We're going to go into Diggersby because we pretty much have to. There's no point in, like, leech seeding or trying to do any of that. If I had the Stone Edge on this chestnut, we'd be in good shape, but I don't have that. So we have to go into Diggersby. And, oh no, the Fiery Dance! Okay, we still have a chance here. We still definitely have a chance, unless this thing is a Scarf Volcarona. It still does over half. He gets the special attack raise, because I, it's a very high chance. It's a very high chance to raise your special attack. Maybe 50%? I know it's not as high as Charge Beam, but it's pretty darn high. But because of this, we can just go for a Stone Edge. And I, I don't see any reason to not go for it at this point. Looking at my team, Chestnut and Yon Mega are not going to outspeed a Volcarona, especially because there's the possibility of a Quiver Dance coming. So we have to try to one-shot this thing. In fact, it could be Focus Sash too, and that would be disastrous. But we have to go for the Stone Edge. There's really no, no option here. There's going to be a withdrawal happening. Interesting. What's coming out? The Cresselia. Okay, well, at least we didn't go for the EQ. Stone Edge does absolutely, positively nothing. Absolutely nothing. Man, that is the biggest poop I've seen in a while. Other than missing that Draco Meteor in the last match, that is the biggest poop I've seen in a while. Now, I kind of want to go into Yanmega and start bug buzzing things. I kind of want that. But, I feel like our best play is to go into Chestnut. I know it can have Psychic or Moonblast, but we need to try to Leech Seed it. I don't see any other way around it. Chestnut doesn't do any good. 
uh, against Volcaroni. A uh, double switch. Double switch. Hmm. What was the point of that? Maybe they realized their mistake and now they're gonna go for the quiver dance? I can't switch in Diggersby because it'll die to a fire dance or any attack, basically. Man, that is that is gigantic poop. Let's go for the Elite Seed. Fiery Dance again. All right. That may just one-shot this Chestnut, but that means we get a free switch into Diggersby. And, uh, yeah, that's going to just take us out. Oh, because of a crit and the special attack raise. That is cool. That is really cool. I'm not liking our chances here. I'm not liking our chances at all. I feel like this person is going to switch again. I really do, so I want to go for a U-turn. That may be a silly play because if they stay in and go for a fiery dance, we just lose because Yanmega will go down in one hit to that, but I think our only chance of winning is if this person switches out again to the Cresselia. We can U-turn out to the Yanmega and then we can uh, go from there. So let's go for the U-turn. Let's do it. Yeah, there's the withdrawal, so we're going to get some super effective damage off on this Cresselia which is great and part of me was thinking that oh this person's gonna change up their plays now so that they're not predictable but they did not do that so we're gonna take some rocky helmet damage but we got a decent amount of damage off in this Cresselia to the point where I think I think that a bug buzz might just KO this thing that is what I'm thinking right now part of me wants to go for an air slash predicting that the Volcarona will switch in here because this person does not want uh, this Cresselia to just go down. I don't think. I don't think. And Bug Buzz will be a resisted hit for the Volcarona to come in. Then a Fiery Dance will be coming my way and something will have to die. Huh. I don't, yeah, I don't know if I can risk that. The other thing is that I think that Volcarona just outspeeds Yon Mega. If I'm not, am I mistaken? Am I mistaken? I don't know the speed tier of Volcarona. That is my downfall right here. Hmm. Hmm. If I let this thing get off of Moonlight, I will be in bad shape. But we're going to go for an Air Slash. That may be the wrong thing to do. That was the wrong thing to do. Wow, that does a lot of damage. And we get the flinch. So, okay, the Hax Gods. All right, Hax Gods. All right, I see how it is. I see how it is. Another Air Slash. I was kind of hoping that we were going to miss that, honestly. And we get a crit just to kick this guy in the nuts. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? What is going on? Welcome back to the battling scene. Holy cannoli. Well, this is pretty much... Well, it's not a lost... It's not a lost match yet. Not by any means because this thing could be Focus Sash. This thing could be Focus Dash. There could just be all kinds of things that can happen. So this is not a lost match, like guaranteed by any means. So we're going to go for the Air Slash again. Obviously, we're locked into it. And we do outspeed naturally, so that's something to um, lock away in my memory. Air Slash is not quite a one-shot. And we see a Citrus Berry here, so no Focus Dash. And what's good about... Oh, another flinch! Another flinch. I have nothing to say. I have nothing to say. The match was forfeited after after all kinds of nonsense. All kinds of nonsense. I'm not going to lie, it's kind of funny. But if it happens to me, then I don't think it's funny. So I'm going to just try out of, my, out of respect to my opponent to not laugh too much about this. So we get a double victory today. And this, this video is almost a half an hour long right now. So I'm not going to be doing a bonus battle like I did in the recording that I had to scrap. Which is unfortunate. I will be doing a bonus battle sometime soon, though. If we get some shorter battles in at some point. Uh, so we reached that 33-game differential. Our record is... Uh, 93 and 61. So we have a shot at a 35-game differential next time around. Like I said, I'm going to be changing up the team completely. We're going to be getting rid of everyone on this team because... I've used them three times in a row. The exact same team. Haven't really changed anything at all, so... We're going to change that up and get some fresh faces as we uh, try for a 35 game differential. So I want to thank you all for sticking around. Thank you all for uh, just hanging out with me today, watching some Pokemon battles. 
and uh, helping me get back into the swing of recording and battling and all that good stuff. I will be taking Wi-Fi battles uh, soon. I have a couple of people that I told I was going to battle earlier this week, but I didn't have internet, so I'm going to take care of them first, and then um, probably the middle of next week, early to mid middle of next week, I will be um, asking for some Wi-Fi battles over on my Twitter, so if you want to follow me there and have a chance to battle, then uh, go for that, and uh, so that's it for this time, and I will see you all for the next episode, but until then, game on.